In this session, we'll see how to create, deploy, and run a workflow with a mapping task in it. So I have a pass-through mapping which reads data from a flat file and writes it to a relational database. So we'll create a workflow uh, with a mapping task which will run this particular mapping. So go to File and then New and Workflow. So the naming convention for this is WF underscore then whatever name you want to give. MT is the short form for mapping task. Okay. Then select the folder. Okay. And finish. So workflow is a graphical representation of a set of events, tasks and decisions that define the business process. Every workflow, it is mandatory. It should have a start event and an end event. Start represents the beginning of a workflow and end event represents the end of the workflow. And it has four uh, tasks. First is the assignment task here. Uh, uh, this assignment task assigns a value to a user defined workflow variable command task runs a single shell command or starts an external executable program and mapping task runs a mapping and a notification sends an email notification to specified recipients so in this session we'll see uh, how to create a mapping task for a map to run a mapping and uh, final is the exclusive gateway uh, which splits and merges path in workflow based on how the data integration service evaluates expressions in conditional sequence flows so an exclusive gateway represents a decision made in the workflow so let's start creating the mapping task here so the naming convention is empty underscore and uh, Yeah, and you need to assign a mapping here. Okay, and then finish. So mapping task runs mapping uh, during a workflow. So when you add a mapping task to a workflow, you select a single mapping for the task to run. Uh, let's check on the pro properties first is the input mapping task input is the data that passes into the mapping task from workflow parameters and variables so you can assign uh, either uh, user defined mapping parameters or you can assign mapping task configuration properties to task input to define the value of a property in workflow parameter or variable so those properties are listed in the advanced tab so next is the output properties so mapping task output is the data that passes from a mapping task into workflow variables so when you configure a mapping task you specify the task output values that you want to assign to workflow variables on the output tab so the data integration service copies the mapping task output values to workflow variables when mapping task completes so in the general outputs we can see the start time end time is successful and these are specific for the mapping and it contains number of uh, target rows processed source rows processed and number of uh, error rows so here we can for example uh, if you uh, you can create a new variable here uh, say successful Uh, create it as a boolean data type okay so basically what it does is it will say either false or true was the mapping successful or not so this variable you can use it in either your command task or your notification task to notify was your mapping su successful or not and uh, in the advanced properties so this is the uh, task recovery strategy suppose if it uh, fails this should it restart the task or uh, should it uh, skip the task so next is the default date time format um, so it's the date time format the integration service uses when the mapping converts string to dates 
and uh, optimizer level it controls the optimization methods that the data integration service applies to the mapping so the values in this are uh, zero means uh, the data integration uh, service does not optimize the mapping one is for minimal uh, optimization method of the mapping two into the data integration service applies the early projection early selection push down predicate optimization methods and in three it applies full optimization methods so the default is two here next is the high precision so it runs the mapping with high precision if it is uh, true so default is true next is the sort order uh, uh, order in which the data integration service sorts character data in a mapping and override tracing level so it overrides the tracing level for each transformation in a mapping the tracing level determines the amount of information the data integration service sends to the mapping log files so default is normal here so we can override the transformation uh, tracing level uh, with this property so here uh, connect these then validate this and then save now if you check on your left side go to your workflow and right click it and deploy so you need to select the domain and your uh, data integration service and uh, the naming convention for application is app underscore okay so finish so when you finish this you can run your uh, first instance as soon as you deploy an application so we can run our object here okay so in order to monitor you need to go to informatica administrator go to monitoring and uh, go to your deployed application go to the workflow and you can check here the data so if you want to check the logs for mapping or workflow uh, right click this and uh, you can get how many uh, the process and how many rows were affected loaded everything and your session summary here so one more way uh, we cannot uh, run uh, uh, a work uh, instance of workflow from our informatica developer only the first time when we deploy it we can run it from there otherwise either we should do it from informatica administrator or using infa command uh, line so if if you want to uh, run our uh, workflow from here go to data integration service in your domain and select applications so we can see here all the applications that have been uh, deployed so go to your uh, uh, application and select the workflow and here is the start workflow so click on it uh, show workflow monitoring okay so now our uh, we have run the same workflow from our data informatica administrator so one more method is uh, to run it from a command line program so uh, i have windows uh, i uh, i have installed my informatica on windows so uh, i write uh, uh, my commands from 
command.exe so first go to uh, the site where my infa.bat file is there so in my case it is in isp bin so informatica pc express isp bin after that give your uh, infa command the syntax for this infa command line programs can be found in help contents in informatica developer so give uh, this is the command wfs start workflow give your domain name then uh, uh, sn is the data integration service then your username then your password then the name of the application and workflow so after you click ok so the workflow instance gets started you can monitor that in your uh, uh, informatica administrator monitoring so for more uh, go to a to z informatica.blogspot.com thank you